What is up, my dudes? Nate here, and in eager anticipation for this week's release of ARMS for the Nintendo Switch, I decided to do a video telling you guys about what I learned from the ARMS Global Test Punch. Now, I'm not usually into fighting games, and while ARMS is atypical for a genre, it's still a fighting game, and as such, I'm no professional. So you won't hear me talking about the meta of the game or the best ways to play each character. Rather, I'll tell you the things you need to know when you first start, and I'll explain some important mechanics that the tutorial kind of glossed over. First and foremost, adapt to your opponent, and fast. These matches go by lickety-split, and if you don't learn to read what the other dude is doing, they'll make quick work of you. In this match, Ninjara took advantage of the arena and picked arms that could easily reach around barriers and hit me. While it caught me off guard at first, and I took a few too many punches, again, I'm not good at these games, guys. I realized what they were doing soon enough, and I did what any rational person would do. I smashed them into the tanks that they were hiding behind. And wash, rinse, repeat. My opponent was so thrown off by me countering their strategy, I was able to take him down. So like this Ninjara, go in with your own strategy, but be prepared to change it up if need be to counteract your foe. Next, charge up your arms to use their special abilities, but know when to move the heck out of the way. Each arm comes with one of seven attributes, fire, electric, wind, ice, stun, explosion, or blind. I'm not going to go into each of these, but I will tell you how to activate them. When you hold down the block button, not only do you block, but you also charge your arms for some devastating right hooks. Now you're probably thinking, but Nate, why wouldn't you just always block and then attack with charge punches? Well, while blocking you can't move, and while it's true that blocking repels punches, it leaves you wide open for grapples. You're a sitting duck, so use block wisely. Luckily, there's another way to charge your arms, and it's a lot more mobile. Dodge. When you get to the end of the dodging animation, you'll notice your arms are glowing with a fresh charge ready to go. This even works when jump dashing, but you'll have to wait to land before getting your reward, and that can take extra time. With both blocking and dodging, your arms are only briefly charged. Charge time depends on how long you held the corresponding buttons, and each charge only works with one left and or right hook. So make them count. ARMS is all about timing and the charge mechanic is no different, but the game rewards your good blocking and dodging with these attributes that do more damage and can lead to powerful combos. Also, don't just stick to one character. Every character is a different play style on its own, plus they each get a variety of ARMS with change up their style as well. You may go in thinking you'll be best as the sweet ramen goddess Min Min with her megawatt and dragon, but then discover you just really want your mummy. Master mummy, that is who wraps up fights quick with Retorture and Phoenix. Each character has two special abilities unique to them too, so experimenting with different characters and arms not only will help you understand how to counter your opponents, but it will also make the game more fun by adding dynamic to the ways you play. There's plenty more to this game than I could possibly cover in this video. Special game modes, online play, ranked mode, there's, there's just too much to talk about, it's just too much. But I think it's easy to see that this game has a lot more to it than I thought when they originally announced it. I'm super excited to get my hands on it, to say the least. But there is one more thing I want to mention before we wrap up this video. The music in this game is tight! I can't actually play the music due to copyright claims, but I can run this clip of me singing my little heart out to it. Oh, the cringe is real. Alrighty guys, thanks for listening to my first ever scripted video. You can definitely expect to see me streaming arms with my friends over at twitch.tv slash nategullion, but also maybe keep your eyes out for it on my YouTube channel that you're watching right now. Who knows? Talk to you next time, guys. Buh bye bye